Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I am going to discuss about inline slider crank mechanism, position, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. Here is a typical inline slider crank mechanism and this link is fixed link and this link is uh, crank length is L2 angle between fixed link and crank is theta2 and this link is coupler link angle between horizontal and coupler link is theta3 that is clockwise direction and theta2 is counterclockwise direction. So this we take positive this we take negative and this C is the slider. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations to find uh, displacement, velocity and acceleration of the slider and the coupler. When crank and coupler links are in line, then slider will have its rightmost position. Uh, let us call that a zero position. So as this crank is rotated counterclockwise direction, slider tends to move from right to left. So let us call this x. This x is the displacement of slider when there is a uh, rotation of crank by angle theta 2. So at this position, we call this length, uh, horizontal length of this crank is x1 and horizontal length of coupler link is x2 and vertical length is y and this total length from A to this uh, slider position L2 plus L3. Now let us see horizontal position of the crank at this position when there is angle theta 2 from uh, fixed link to crank. So this x1, x1 is the horizontal position of crank that can be written as x1 equal to L2 cos theta 2. Similarly, this x2, the horizontal component of uh, this coupler link can be written as x2 equal to L3 cos theta 3. Since this is uh, counterclockwise, we have taken this as positive and this is clockwise, we take it negative. So cos of minus theta 3 will become positive plus cos theta 3. So x1 is L2 cos theta 2, x2 is L3 cos theta 3. Now let us see vertical component uh, y. So y can be written as vertical component of this crank that is L2 sin theta 2 that is also equal to vertical component of this coupler that is L3 sin minus theta 3 that is written here. So sin minus theta 3 will become minus sin theta 3. So the, this will become this equation will become L2 sin theta 2 equal to minus L3 sin theta 3. So from this we can find theta 3 equal to sin inverse minus L2 by L3 sin theta 2. Now slider displacement x can be written as L2 plus L3 minus x1 minus x2 that is written here. So we have seen x1 and x2 in the previous slides. After substituting those values we get x equal to L2 minus L2 cos theta 2 plus L3 minus L3 cos theta 3. So after rearranging this we get x equal to L2 into 1 minus cos theta 2 plus L3 into 1 minus cos theta 3. So this is the equation to find displacement of the slider. Now let us uh, derive this equation with respect to time t. So we get velocity of the slider. So velocity of the slider v can be written as v equal to dx by dt. So Differentia differentiation of this equation will become L2 is L2 here and differentiation of 1 is 0 and differentiation of minus cos theta 2 will become sin theta 2 into omega 2 uh, and this here so 1 L3 is written here and uh, differentiation of 1 will become 0 and differentiation of minus cos theta 3 will become sin theta 3 omega 3. So after rearranging this we get velocity of the slider v equal to L2 omega 2 sin theta 2 plus L3 omega 3 sin theta 3. Here omega 2 is the angular velocity of the crank and omega 3 is the angular velocity of the coupler. Now let us uh, differentiate this equation again we get acceleration of the slider. So after differentiating this equation and simplification we get a equal to dv by dt that equal to L2 omega 2 square cos theta 2 plus L2 alpha 2 sin theta 2 plus L3 omega 3 square cos theta 3 plus L3 alpha 3 sin theta 3. So here alpha 2 is the angular acceleration of the crank and alpha 3 is the angular acceleration of the coupler. 
and a is the uh, acceleration of the slider so the equation is given here omega 2 alpha 2 will and theta 2 will be given in a problem so the unknowns are omega 3 and alpha 3 so theta 3 we already found in the uh, previous slides now let us find omega 3 and alpha 3 now let us take this uh, y uh, y we have seen in the previous slides as l2 sin theta 2 equal to minus l3 sin theta 3 now let us differentiate this equation uh, with respect to t time so d theta by dt will become l2 omega 2 cos theta 2 equal to minus l3 omega 3 cos theta 3 after rearranging this we get omega 3 equal to minus l2 omega 2 cos theta 2 by l3 cos theta 3 this is the equation to find angular velocity of coupler link so now let us differentiate this equation again one more time we get d theta by dt uh, of this one uh, l2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus l3 omega 3 cos theta 3 so that will become d square theta by dt square so that will become l2 alpha 2 cos theta 2 minus l2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 equal to minus l3 alpha 3 cos theta 3 plus l3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 so after rearranging this we get alpha 3 equal to l2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 minus l2 alpha 2 cos theta 2 plus l3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 by l3 cos theta 3 so this is the equation to find angular acceleration of the coupler link after having derived all the necessary equations now let us solve a problem so in this problem we have taken l2 crank length is 480 millimeter l3 coupler length 1600 millimeter omega 2 is 20 radians per second that is taken counterclockwise so we have taken that as positive and alpha 2 we have taken 0 radians per second square now in this column theta 2 given uh, 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees and in this column theta 3 is calculated using the equation we have derived previously so this is the variation of theta 3 and uh, this column is uh, displacement of the slider so at the, at the theta 2 equal to 0 so displacement is 0 that is uh, slider is at its rightmost position so as the crank turns towards uh, counterclockwise direction the displacement of the slider increases and it will be maximum that is 960 millimeter when um, this crank is at 180 degrees so and again when the crank rotates further from 180 degrees then displacement comes down and it will be zero when crank is three at 360 degrees so that is the, this is the uh, displacement values and omega 3 is calculated here and velocity of the slider is also calculated here and alpha 3 and acceleration is also calculated since we have taken counterclockwise rotation of the crank is positive so velocity is uh, going to be pos uh, velocity of the slider is going to be positive uh, from 0 to 180 degrees of crank rotation so after 180 degrees of crank rotation the slider moves from left to right so the slider velocity is becoming negative here so similarly the alpha 3 and a is also uh, given here now let us see uh, graphs in this graph we have plotted theta 2 versus theta 3 so theta 2 along horizontal and theta 3 along vertical so theta 3 uh, at 0 degrees of theta 2 is 0 and at 180 degrees it is again coming back to 0 and between 0 to 180 theta 3 will be in the negative side and from 180 to 360 degrees theta 3 is in the positive side so this is the graph for theta 2 versus theta 3 now similarly uh, we see here we have plotted theta 2 versus omega 3 so omega 3 that is angular velocity of the coupler link uh, will be in negative side when crank is from 0 to 90 degrees so after 90 degrees of crank rotation and uh, up to 270 degrees of crank rotation omega 3 is going to be positive again it will turn negative after 270 degrees and uh, the graph you can see here similarly uh, in this graph we have plotted theta 2 versus alpha 3 that is the uh, angular acceleration of the coupler link so here from 0 to 180 degrees uh, you can see alpha 3 is uh, on the positive side and from 180 degrees to 
360 degrees of crank rotation alpha 3 is going to be negative and alpha 3 is maximum when theta 2 is 90 degrees on the positive side and also it is maximum on the negative side when theta 2 is 270 degrees in this graph we have plotted theta 2 versus slider displacement theta 2 along horizontal and slider displacement along vertical so you can see that uh, at theta 2 equal to 0 slider displacement is 0 and it is maximum when theta 2 is 180 degrees and it is again coming back to 0 when theta 2 is 360 degrees similarly in this graph we have plotted uh, theta 2 along horizontal and the velocity of the slider along vertical so here you can see at uh, uh, from 0 to 180 degrees uh, velocity of the slider is in the positive direction and from 180 to 360 degrees of crank rotation velocity of the slider is in the negative direction and variation you can see here so the maximum value will occur uh, on the positive side between 60 to 90 degrees here and similarly on the negative side uh, the maximum value of the velocity of the slider will occur between 270 and 300 degrees of uh, crank rotation now let us see uh, acceleration graph so in this graph we have plotted theta 2 along horizontal and uh, velocity uh, acceleration of the slider along vertical so you can see the variation of the graph so between 60 and 90 degrees uh, the acceleration of the slider is becoming uh, turning from uh, positive to negative and it stays negative up to two, uh, the angle of the crank becomes 270 to 300 degrees you can see after that it will turn positive that's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.